My name is Eric Pessel, and I'm the health officer for the Calhoun County Public Health Department. And I'm speaking to you today about something really important regarding our COVID-19 pandemic response here in Calhoun County. Our numbers are going up, folks. They're going up exponentially, um, significantly more than they were back in April and May. And it's not just because we're testing more people. Our percent positive is going up. Our hospitals are filling up. And it's just over all in all, everybody can feel it. There are more cases, there's more need for um, quarantine and, and there's more you know, folks that are just, they're, they're positive and they're in the hospital. So because of that, I would like to recommend a few more things that are maybe a little different than what we've heard, of, heard about over the past eight months. Because you've all heard us say that you need to wear a mask and you need to socially distance and stay over, stay greater than six feet apart. And you need to avoid large gatherings or even small gatherings. We've been saying this for eight months and right now we need to do more. And I'm asking everybody to join me in, in the following three recommendations. Recommendation number one, indoor gatherings of people from multiple households, regardless of the total number of people, really should be avoided. And that really includes holiday gatherings. We're coming up on some major holidays over the next two months. Really take a, take a, uh, a, a moment to speak to your family about this. Because if you're having somebody come into your home that's not a household contact normal, it's somebody like a sister or a brother that lives in another home and they come to your home that's really no different than somebody that you don't even know coming into your home because they've been exposed in different instances than you have. And that's how you could end up spreading COVID virus during a holiday gathering. And, and for a moment of joy and for all the reasons that we meet, um, it would sure be a shame if it was our holiday gathering that caused a family outbreak amongst ourselves. And maybe there's an electronic way or a Zoom way, as we like to call it, that you can get together with your family. Number two, sports and extracurricular activities which require physical contact, regular close contact, and shared travel really should be avoided right now. With our number of cases and our number of, of infections and quarantines, I think that's the most appropriate recommendation we can make regarding sports. And number three, People really should opt for takeout or even delivery when you, when you want to take your family out to dinner. Trying to avoid indoor dining areas right now is probably the best way that you can avoid the spread of COVID amongst your family. There's one, it's one way to, to avoid COVID amongst your family. So what am I saying to everybody? It's really critical right now that we all take personal accountability and we all do this together because together we can, we, we can defeat this virus. We can live with this virus until we get the vaccine, until we can vaccinate our community. We can live with this virus, but together we have to do these simple things. It's not just wearing the mask. It's not just social distancing. It's not just avoiding those gatherings. It's doing these three basic things that I've talked about, plus all of that, and let's see if we can bend that curve and help our hospitals out a little bit more. Thank you and have a nice day.